There is another Haunted Mansion movie that is coming out in theaters this weekend, and I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't excited for this movie at all, and I don't think you should be either. Let's get to the review. What's going on film fans? It is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad and today in the channel I want to talk to you guys about the brand new supernatural horror comedy film called Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is the second feature film based on the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney World and Disneyland after the 2003 film which I thought was terrible and this movie stars a large ensemble cast with the likes of Lakeith Stanfield, Tiffany Haddish, Owen Wilson, Jared Leto, Danny DeVito, Rosario Dawson, and Dan Levy. As I was saying earlier, I did not want to go see this film because everything about the film with its big cast and the look of it just felt like it was a product that was being sold to me rather than a art form. Haunted Mansion is released in theaters a week after Barbenheimer and it's been smashing the box office right now every single day since it came out last week and this movie movie is definitely not going to do well and one of the reasons for that is because this movie is so mediocre and so average that there is no reason for you to actually go out to the theater pay your hard-earned money to support this film it will just come out on disney plus three months from now in october when this movie should have been released and you can watch it on disney plus then and it will be perfectly fine every single second of watching this film I felt like I was a consumer consuming a product as everything about the film just felt like a checklist of things that Disney needs in order to sell to a wide audience to make money with all these actors just being in the movie probably because they had a contract with Disney that's something that I genuinely don't like when I watch a movie it is very distracting especially when all the acting in this movie just feels very very fudge. This is true, especially in the performances themselves, where pretty much every single performance besides Lakeith Stanfield and maybe Jared Leto is very fudged in here, where all of these actors are very talented. Heck, Jamie Lee Curtis won Best Supporting Actress earlier this year, and now this is one of the worst performances I have seen from her. All the performances in this film feel very enthusiastic and just no charisma. It feels like no one really cares making this movie one of my biggest issues of this film is the visual effects where everything in this movie just looks fake and it's because the cgi really isn't all that great and the way that the actors blend in the background with the green screen just looks terrible it was so distracting throughout the whole film where you just feel like actors are in, in costumes running along a sound stage and just delivering performances and and we as the consumers are like, haha, that's awesome. I'm so entertained by this movie. And it's not the worst CGI I've ever seen. Like for a size of this movie, it's not good. But for CGI as a whole across movies, it's pretty standard. But other than a few moments where some of the ghost looks pretty cool or some of the creepy production design that went into this movie, I just felt like this movie looked very fake. I also found the pacing of this movie to be way too long as this movie clocks in over two hours, which feels very unnecessary for a movie about Haunted Mansion. There isn't a whole lot that goes on in this movie until the second act of the film. This film is categorized as a supernatural horror comedy and the comedy in this movie just didn't do it for me. To be fair, there were a few people in my audience that were laughing at a few of the scenes, but not as much as I was expecting. And now we have to talk about the worst aspect about this film and that is the product placement. I have never seen this much product placement in a movie like like this. Nevertheless, a Disney film, they have all the money in the world. Why in the world do they even need product placement in their own film? And it is so egregious. It is so awful. And it happens so many times throughout this film. I'm not even over exaggerating the awful product placement in this movie that just told me 
as an audience that again this is a product and not an art form of film and it was so distracting you could take these out none of the movie would change at all they didn't even try to make a joke out of it they didn't even try to get creative with it they literally like name drop things as much as i've been crapping on this movie so far i do have a few positives here and i do have to start with the creepy atmosphere that this movie is able to create as this movie does does rely more on the horror elements and there are actually a few jump scares in this movie that were quite surprising for younger audiences might be a little too scared to watch because there were a few people in my theater jumping because it was kind of creepy I mean not to my standards, but I can understand for a family type film, this could be scary for some younger audiences, and I did think that was kind of cool. There's also a couple of really cool transition shots in this movie, especially of Lakeith Stanfield's character running, that I think is in the trailer, I believe, that actually looked really cool in this movie, and I just wish there was more of that. I also enjoyed the villain of the Hatbox Ghost, which I thought was really cool, and definitely one of my favorite actors aspects of the film he was actually a pretty decent villain and I wish he was in the movie more because I really like the voice performance that was done by Jared Leto I like the character design now going back to Guillermo del Toro he was originally supposed to write and direct this film but unfortunately he dropped out of the project and that was probably due to the movie being a little too creepy and scary but can you imagine if we got a Guillermo del Toro Haunted Mansion movie? Overall, guys, Haunted Mansion is a very mediocre, average movie that does not require your time unless you see this on a Discount Tuesday or an early matinee show if you just want to watch a fun, creepy, comedy, horror film like this with big actors. And if you're a really big fan of Disney, then maybe go check this out. But if you're already on the fence, just wait to watch this on Disney+. Plus, I can't believe I'm saying that because I absolutely support the theatrical market, but with a movie like this, it doesn't deserve your money. I'm giving Haunted Mansion a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review. As I want to know below in the comment section, have you seen Haunted Mansion and are you going to check it out in theaters? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Before you guys check out this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like as you always should, and ring that notification bell so I can see you all in the following video.